CrowdStrike has recently had an issue with a Falcon content update, which has triggered crashes on impacted systems. In this video, we will guide you through the steps to remediate impacted hosts using a bootable image written to a USB drive. This remediation applies to hosts with or without local admin privileges. It also can be used in cases where BitLocker encryption has been enabled. In some instances, systems may have automatically been restored during the restart process. If the user is able to log in and use their computer as usual, the problem has been resolved. In this case, no further action is needed. Here's what to expect in the video. The process has been broken down into three phases. First, building the image. Next, writing the image to a USB drive. Finally, remediating the Windows host with the bootable USB drive. If you were referred to this video by your IT department and have been given a prepared USB drive, please proceed to 4 minutes and 50 seconds in the video. We will be following the directions outlined in the CrowdStrike GitHub repo. The link for this can be found in our Remediation and Guidance Hub. While other methods follow a similar process, in this video we will be focusing specifically on the option to recover using CSPE Recovery with Automatic Entry of BitLocker Recovery Keys. Please note, the process of building the bootable recovery image may take upwards of 30 minutes. However, once built, the process of using the USB drive to remediate may be completed in less than a minute. You will need the following to proceed. First, an empty USB drive that is at least 1 GB in size. Second, a Windows 10 or higher 64-bit client with at least 8 GB of free space and administrative privileges. Phase 1. Building Bootable Image Download the Falcon Windows Host Recovery GitHub project as a zip file. Click the green code button and select Download Zip. Extract Falcon Windows Host Recovery main.zip file contents to a directory of your choosing. Please avoid using spaces or special characters here. Additionally, if custom device drivers are required, now is the time to include them. Please refer to the full set of instructions in the GitHub repository for more information on completing these steps. If BitLocker encryption is enabled on the impacted systems, you can build the recovery keys into the bootable image. Note that if you build the keys into the image, be sure to rotate them after host remediation is completed. You must provide these keys via a CSV file named bitlockerkeys.csv. This file must be placed within the directory created earlier. Open a Windows PowerShell command prompt as an administrator, then run the following commands to create the ISO image with the included BitLocker recovery keys. cd space c colon backslash falcon dash windows dash host dash recovery dash main. Press enter. Then run the following commands set dash execution policy space dash execution policy space remote signed space dash scope space process. Press enter. Period backslash build ISO period PS1. Press enter. Please note, safe handling and destruction of BitLocker recovery keys is required. The ISO image will now be built. The status will show as completed once we're ready to move on to the next step. Phase 2. Using bootable image. We will now be writing the image we just created to a blank USB drive. As a reminder, this USB drive must be at least 1 GB in size and completely empty. Any files already on the drive will be deleted during this process. Start by downloading Rufus, an open source utility for creating bootable USB sticks, from rufus.ie. Select the portable version. Next, open Rufus. From the device dropdown, select the desired USB drive target. Click Select next to Boot Selection and choose the CSPE Recovery ISO file that you had previously created. Verify the Partition Scheme dropdown is GPT and the Target System dropdown is UEFI. Click Start. If prompted to write in either ISO or ESP mode, select ISO mode. Phase 3. Booting Windows Host from USB At this point, the bootable USB drive has been created and the impacted device is ready to be remediated. The following instructions can be shared with a remote worker 
provided they have the approved USB drive in their possession. Start by unplugging all other USB devices from the impacted system. Then insert the bootable USB drive into the system. Reboot the system. To do so, hold the power button for 10 seconds. Then press the power button again to turn the device back on. Enter the UEFI boot menu. Most often this is done by pressing either the F8 or F12 key. In some cases, you may have to try other keys including F1, F2, and F11. Select the USB flash drive. If given both an MBR and UEFI option with the same label, select UEFI. Wait while Windows PE loads. If BitLocker is enabled and you are prompted, enter your BitLocker recovery key. The system should now automatically restart. After the restart, if you are able to log into your computer, the system is back online. If you are still unable to access your computer, please reach out to your IT department. IT personnel that need assistance in troubleshooting, please refer to our Remediation and Guidance Hub. If you need further assistance, please reach out to your CrowdStrike account manager. We are committed to getting all customers back online as quickly as possible. We truly appreciate your patience.